Hey, good morning to you. Good afternoon. Mark again here with the Man Plus. I got your tropical update for today, and I am showing an Invest 98L is going to be doing something. Uh, however, whether the cold front affects that or not, that still remains to be seen. I'll go through this at the end of the video. Remember, all the links are in the description to help save you time. Plus, I have the update on the La Palma volcano eruption and possible tsunami effects. There has been some updated information on what could happen if that did happen to the U.S. And I'm going to show the rarity of whether the tsunami could happen or not. But I have all the updated information. Remember, all the links are in the description to help save you time, help you navigate through the video today. Hope you have a great Monday today. God bless every single one of you. Never been here before. My name is Mark. I do upload every single day, just not Friday from sundown to Saturday from sundown. That's Sabbath. But I will make sure that you're covered. All I ask is if you know anybody in these impacts that I show you, please share this on social media. Help alert others to what's going on around them. If you don't use social media, just hit the like button. <laughs> YouTube was suggested for you. Thank you so much for your support. Now, there is a severe weather threat today as well. We have a big marginal here and a big slight risk right here for today and there is a tornado and it has upgraded that's what i waited for was updated information this morning it just showed a small two percent but it has updated to a big two percent and a five percent for today and these are your cities and states that will be affected by the two percent and the five percent there also will be wind for today you got a 15 percent chance of damage and winds and there is some hail that's coming with these storms today just to update you on the severe weather now, the new area to watch today is Invest 98L. It has 20% chance in 48 hours, 70% chance in five days. And Euro is taking it to where it can curve up and still go west. GFS is showing that that cold front's going to hit it and it's going to curve. However, the energy that makes it to the Caribbean, the update this morning shows that that actually is going to go through to the East Pack and be a potential storm for them. Now, Tropical Storm Peter is still going to be a storm all the way until Wednesday, sometime in the early afternoon. Then it'll be a depression and turn to the north because of that cold front coming down, the high pressure swinging it around. No threat. Never was. Tropical Storm Rose still no threat to nobody. Never was. It's turning even sooner. Now, this video link will be in the description. This is their live stream. This is what happened last night as it erupted it big time i was watching it all night long matter of fact i still need to go back and read y'all comments for yesterday which i'm going to do right after this video i really couldn't move man my shoulder was gone the lava flow came down and it has torn up a lot of people's homes no fatalities no injuries so far so that's a that's a blessing but a lot of people's homes are gone a lot of good news as well there's a lot of homes that did not get touched by this lava going on however it is still erupting and there's still lava flowing but a lot of people's homes are destroyed. A lot of people were spared. But this live stream link is in the description. That way you can follow this live stream. They've been going ever since the beginning of the eruption. This is how the La Palma volcano does look this morning. And it's still going. It's just not as fierce as it was last night. Now they did immediately evacuate 1,000 people and said he may need to evacuate 10,000 more residents. There is 85,000 people there. But I am sure that they evacuated about 5,000 people right before the eruption there was a 4.2 earthquake that happened right before the eruption mayor sergio rodriguez said 300 people was in immediate danger and they were evacuated roads are closed they're all getting burned off he also said that there was no reports of imminent deaths or injuries during this time and there were five eruption points in which two were spewing magma and as of this morning, evacuations are ongoing following the eruption and authorities are maintaining emergency level two, which is the highest risk on a four tier scale. They also have evacuated at least 5,000 people from the threatened area. And also from these areas right here, up to 10,000 people are likely to be evacuated if the condition worsens. Now to update, as of this morning, you can see how they had a lot of eruptions very close to the top of the volcano very strong ones they also had some strong ones that was very deep deeper than ever yet that just means that the, the flow of this magma has not stopped it will be ongoing because it's coming from a deeper depth now now the biggest quake that it did today was a 3.0 and it was about seven hours ago but about three hours ago was the most recent one and it did a 2.4 quake and it was five kilometers in depth also, the thermal analogy is going up to very high. It was at high, now it's up to a very high 
for the thermal analogy for this volcano. And according to the Morova detection system, they said that it was at 2800. It's going all the way down to 1500 today. So it did calm down greatly. Now, two eruptive fissures was opened and they had at least seven ind individual vents for this volcano. However, the fissures that were open were not one of the ones that is at great risk for a tsunami. Not yet. Also got this great time lapse. I'm going to put the link in the description. They made a beautiful time lapse of what happened to the volcano day and night as it kept erupting. So if you want to check that out, link is in the description. Now here's your update on can the volcano in La Palma produce a tsunami at the east coast of the United States? The simple answer is no. That's a simple answer based on most research. The answer was the same in 2017, just like the video I made the other day. And it seems like it's necessary, like, a, like the scientists were saying, it's necessary to confirm it once again. To have this tsunami happen like everybody's talking about, what would it take to have this tsunami is based on the geometry of the island and the structure and the layers. That in order to have a tsunami, it would have to be a very high magnitude earthquake would have to occur simultaneously along with an eruption with a high explosive index so we would need a big explosion of an eruption happening from the top of the volcano as well as a big earthquake happening a little bit below the volcano for that piece of rock to fall off like everybody's thinking and cause a tsunami which is highly unlikely now i have this video in the description so you can go watch it they checked out the different forms of this island and exactly where the tsunami could actually happen they even checked the rocks and the type of rocks and would it crumble or be one piece? And this would be the scenario, the rock falling off into the ocean, big waves happening going all across the Atlantic, and then everybody fearing about a tsunami making it all the way to the Caribbean, South America, North America, coast of the U.S., and what would actually happen? It would be a shorter uh, wave. It'd be a, a lot shorter. It'd be like 50 feet, maybe to 100 feet tops. It wouldn't be no 300 feet. Still, 50 and 100 would be awful, but they did run the scenario and you can watch this video link in the description now this should put your mind at ease guys about the tsunami they done debunked it once i did make a video on that but here they go again this is coming from dave petley a pro vice chancellor at the university of sheffield in the united kingdom he specializes in landslides la palma has undergone a previous flank collapse event and there have been similar collapses elsewhere in the canary islands Interestingly, none of these appear to have generated widespread tsunami deposits around the Atlantic Basin. A tsunami is not possible, guys. Here's some more information from the professionals of the chances of this being some kind of mega tsunami. The generation of a tsunami on this scale requires a very specific landslide scenario. This is that the flank collapse occurs in a single enormous we are, we're talking about 350 cubic kilometers, okay? And usually it would crumble down. I showed you that, that it would crumble down to 100 kilometers, which would be even smaller. Hypothetically, this is possible, but it is not likely. This is like saying that I'm worried that my house will be destroyed by a meteorite. It could, of course, happen, but it is so vanquishly unlikely that it is not even worth considering, guys. It is simply wrong of the newspaper to present an outlier scenario as one that seems likely. Scientists said themselves, it, it really is time that this event was presented for what it is, which is an absolutely extreme scenario based on a very highly unlikely combination of events that is without precedent. There are lots of credible hazard scenarios that deserve our attention. This is not one of them. Also, I will put the link in the description so you can track all these earthquakes as going on at the La Palma. Now for the tropical update, as we check and see what's going on with our potential velocity anomaly according to the GFS to see if we have any storms coming in our section. 120W all the way to 60W and from there to zero is the MDR. And you can see according to the GFS, we have a bunch of weak systems coming through all the way to maybe the beginning of October. However, I'm still showing the Euro is agreeing that we have a few coming in. Maybe the one in the beginning of October might be a little bit stronger. Euro is still showing that we have a big anomaly still coming around the 10th of October, guys. And look how strong this is. This is strong as it gets. Now, according to the GFS, when we look at cyclone locations, you can see how the first one, Peter, goes up. The second one, Rose, or whatever her name is, it went up. 
However, that energy that's coming to the Caribbean before this next Invest 98L starts going a little north and intensifying, some show that it could go out to the East Pack, some show it could still go into the Gulf and cross over Florida and maybe come a little bit later and intensify, go over Cuba or still go towards Florida. You go about a Euro, you can see that according to the Euro and the SpaghettiOs that the first system does go north, the second system heads north, but that invest that we have 98L, it could go either towards the southeast and turn at the last second, or it could turn in and get into our Gulf like GFS showed also, and it could strengthen, and that is according to the Euro. So when we look through the controlled members and see what the possibilities are, and it's not too far away, looking around the 27th, we have some possibilities already. If you look at this one here, E6, you can see it could go over Florida and be somewhat a weak system that we have seen that before. If you look at E10, you see that it could go into our Gulf and intensify and be kind of a strong system right towards Florida, Panhandle, and Alabama. But right now, it really is about this cold front creating all that shear and when does it leave. And you can see these two right here, one showing it could be something weak, one showing that it could intensify. So the modeling are really all over the place. It has good potential to intensify, but with that cold air and that shear, it's most likely to be weak. It's all about timing. And there is, of course, the chances like you see here where it could turn early and not affect anyone. Maybe the southeast. If you look right here on 19, you'll see that there's actually a potential for us to have three systems in the Atlantic at one time. Now, when we go by the Euro and see what all the wind accumulation is and possible tracks, you can see Invest 98L here in about five days. Then when you go to 10 days, you can see how it intensifies and starts heading north, right above Puerto Rico, and starting to get really strong with the winds. That's 130 miles per hour, 138, 139 miles per hour winds with this system. Uh, GFS shows it a little bit slower and a little bit weaker. You can see it's not really much in five days and in 10 days it turns. So there's a big discrepancy between the GFS and the Euro. The GFS is picking up the cold front. Euro has shown that it could still boulder through and get even closer. So we will see which one's correct. We just needed some updates. It's still a little too far away. When you check with GFS and check out absolute vorticity, you can see so far it does a turn, but it does take a westward push. And Euro sees that westward push, so it could do turning like the GFS showed before, but it's also agreeing that it will do a westward push like the Euro is showing. But still, it either gets caught up in the trough or the cold air. It's just not very good atmosphere for this to be thriving through. And you can see the energy also in the Western Caribbean after it starts bottling up, that is a good chance that, that it will go instead of in the Gulf, you see how it gets elongated, that it could go into the East Pack and become a storm for the East Pacific. And that has been your update on the volcano, the tsunami, as well as the, the tropics, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the update. If this has helped you in any way, please hit that like button. Help people know to watch the video that it is a good video. Thank you again for your support. I appreciate you. Now, let's start our day with the Word of God. Amen. Happy Monday to all of you. Hope you have a great week this week. Whether it's work or school, think positive, and you will have a great week. God bless you. Now, today I'm going to read Job 17. My breath is corrupt. My days are extinct. The graves are ready for me. Are there not mockers with me, and doeth not my eyes continue in their provocation? Lay down now, put me in a surety with thee. Who is he that will strike hands with me? For thou hast hid their heart from understanding, therefore shalt thou not exalt them. He that speaketh flattery to his friends, even the eyes of his children, shall fail. He hath made me also a byword of the people. In a time I was as a tabret. Mine eyes also is dim by reason of sorrow, and all my members are as a shadow. Upright men shall be astonied at this, and the innocent shall stir up himself against the hypocrite. The righteous also shall hold on his way, and he that hath clean hands shall be stronger and stronger. 
But as for you all, do ye return and come now? For I cannot find one wise man among you. My days are past. My purposes are broken off, even the thoughts of my heart. They can change a night into day. The light is short because of darkness. If I wait, the grave is mine house. I have made my bed in the darkness. I have said to corruption, Thou art my father. To the worm, Thou art my mother and my sister. And where is now my hope? As for my hope, who shall see it? They shall go down to the bars of the pit when our rest together is in the dust. Amen. Have a great day, guys. I hope you all liked the update. Thank you so much for your time today and visiting my channel. Hope you have a very, very great day. All glory does go to Yahweh, God of Jacob, the Almighty. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah, guys. Have a very blessed day. I will see you in the morning.